until you actually think of it, right? Like you have to imagine stuff and be creative in order for it to happen in reality. And that's how we like to look at things too with our sets, our medley, like we just want to be creative so we can come up with something that is just totally different and that is us. You know, like, I don't know, I can't really explain it. It's our, we want to be, we want to start showing more of our style and how we hear music and how we want to portray like certain things. So, imagination is key. How was main event for you guys, you know, judging and this teaching workshop? Main event. <laughs> yeah, main event was awesome. It was really, really, really good show. And just the vibe of all the teams. I don't know, it's just... Everyone's really friendly here. Yeah. It's really fun, actually. It's nice to see different people out of the Bay. East Coast, you know? But we love the people in the Bay. We do. And <laughs> <In> LA. <laughs> but, um, yeah, people here are great dancers, mm -hmm. great friends. They're amazing people out here. I mean, he judged yesterday. When we got back to the hotel, he was just like, Mari, Keone, him. They're just all telling me like, wow, all these dancers are amazing. Like judging, like they got to see like all the different styles. And you know what? What like one of the biggest things over here is that they all have person. Like everyone has personality, but they just show it. Like on stage, they don't care what they're doing, and it's amazing. Like that's what you need to do. Like you need to go. You gotta step out of the boundary and show like, who you are. And that's what a lot of us saw at the main event, which is really cool. Um, do you guys have any advice for dancers who are trying to get better? I mean, we're we're always trying to get better. <laughs> 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 so advice for yourself. <laughs> um, don't give up. Yeah. Especially when you're taking class. Never ever give up. Because, like, there's two sides of it. One is that it's disrespectful to the choreographer because it's like, like I know if I'm taking, if I'm teaching a class and I see someone walk out of it, it's like, I feel like I did something wrong. And it's like, should I? Yeah, it's like you feel really bad. And it's like, the other side is that it's your class, it's your money, you're paying to learn. Why would you ever give up? Like, just, you always have to push through. It's like, a lot of the classes I take, I look like a fool because I can't do it, but, Um, I guess for me, like, I mean, I always have my ups and downs, uh, but I always, I mean, it's so cliche, but I always remember, like, why I started dancing. I think that's the number one key of all dancers, of all performers, anyone in art, anyone in entertainment, like, you do it because you love it, and it's something within you, like, when you're sad, when you're mad, when you're happy, when you're crazy, when you're intelligent, whatever you are, you show it, and it's like, you can cry when you cry, or you can cry when you dance, and when you see, like, Usher, Neo, like, dancing in the rain, like, it's, like, it's cliche, but it's also powerful, and it's moving, because you can feel that, and I think that's the number one key, just remember why you dance, like, don't get ahead of yourself, like, don't be too eager, I mean, it's always going to be eager, and push yourself, but remember, start from step one, and that's within yourself, and why you dance, and keep on going, like, and that will give you so much motivation, and inspiration, and that fuel, to keep on going, like, to take class, and be like, man, like, I can't do this, but, I need to do this for myself and it feel good it feels good to move the way I'm moving. Like like that. Like I don't know. Number one key is to remember why and just have that passion for dancing. Um, last thing, do you guys do you guys have any shout outs for anyone? Anyone? Shout out to you, Fresh. Um, thank you for having us out here. Like this is actually the Lost Kids first show. Like our first like on stage show. Actual show. Like with a set. And yeah. So it was awesome being on the East Coast. Um, thank you, Adrian. Thank you so much. Um, shout out to the Lost Kids, the rest of us. Uh, Nini, Mikey, Julio, and Crystal. Um, June Kamado. <laughs> Marielle and
Keone. Marielle and Keone also, they are so inspirational and I love them to death. Like, just watching them inspires us. The rest of the choreo cookies. I know. <laughs> I love you guys. We love you guys. Keep on doing it.